Hi everybody, this is Gregory Ann Cox from Rebellious Wellness. I've got another rant for you. This one, it's about personal care products and that whole industry. Why? I'll tell you in a second, but let me tell you where this started. Last night I was at a meeting for a fundraiser for a local breast cancer uh, organization and the woman who's the head of the organization was explaining to us what their services are and she said with great sadness, we are starting to see more and more young women coming to our organization looking for help. It has shifted everything that we do. And I thought, why is it possible that more young women are presenting with a disease that generally the risk increases as we age? And it came to me that it probably is a toxin environmental thing, so I did some research, and it sure looks like that is one of the big problems. Now, what's that got to do with personal care and cosmetics? Because there are so many chemicals used in these products that should have been removed long ago. In the EU, you won't find many of the things that you find here in this country still available for use. And why? Can't blame the FDA. They have no oversight. They cannot regulate the industry and say, please test this to make sure it's safe for people. They want the industry to do it for themselves. Aha, uh -huh. so the, what's that expression? The wolf is watching the hen house or something like that. Anyway, this is a problem. For instance, parabens. Parabens are super common in, in shampoos and body lotions and lip gloss. And when they tested breast cancer tissue, they found the estrogen from these chemical toxins to be one million times more in strength than you would find of the natural estrogen in the breast tissue. Propylparaben is what's used most commonly in underarm deodorants. The highest concentration of these chemicals found in the underarm. Where do you think most breast cancer occurs in women. Right up here, this part of the breast, kind of close to the underarm. Anything we put on our skin goes in. Keep that in mind. Say that to yourself. Anything I put on my skin, it goes in. It is affecting us cellularly, which affects us genetically. In my book, Your Genes Do Not Determine Your Genes, I talk about how we are not victims to our genetics, but let me tell you, we are messing with them by not paying attention to all these chemicals we take in. They are called obesogens, among other things. They're not only responsible for increased cancers, they're responsible for obesity, diabetes, syndrome X, insulin resistance. The list goes on. People, can you read a label and tell whether a product is safe? No, I'm sorry to say you can't. Why? Because the cosmetics and personal care industries have a clause that says they cannot reveal trade secrets and they don't have to tell what's in their fragrances. These are known obesogens and carcinogens. I believe that the record is clear. There is too much science on the side of this stuff is doing harm. Where can you get help? Go to the environmentalworkinggroup.org. If you don't know them, EWG, they put out all kinds of reports and guidebooks on personal care, sunscreen, food. There's another group that I found called safecosmetics.org. They talk specifically about companies. You can't always get a really safe product just because it says all natural. So don't be fooled. Do a little research. Let's reverse the trend of all of these cancers and all of these diseases that are robbing years of life from us. I don't care what age you are. I want you to be well so that you can enjoy the run. Thanks for watching. If this seems like something you know somebody else would appreciate or gain benefit from, please share it and be well till next time.